this is where I practically got an idea of the photo essay. So, since I'm always here, uh, spending my time here, I, I reflect, I exercise, I also play with my nephew here. So this, this place kind of make me feel comfortable uh, to relax and to recharge to whatever stress we are experiencing right now due to pandemic. And so one day I just started shooting. <laughs> so I normally start uh, writing a photo essay with, a, with an object of description or narration for examination. Uh, as you know, essay is to examine. To examine what? So you can examine an issue, you can examine a person, an object, or a subject. So for this particular photo essay at my back, so this is my view. That's why this is the reason why this became the view, or my view. So that's the title of my essay. So it started, I was inspired by this tree. In fact, I, for a couple of days, I really inquired as to what is this? No, what is this? What type of tree is this? No? So, so I asked. I ask around and nobody knows. So, indeed, I did research. And so, in this essay, I wouldn't want to reveal details. So, the process really is trying to know the derivation of the, the name of the, the tree. So, sometimes I, I try experimenting, you know, shooting early in the morning. And then, uh, during this time, uh, lunch time, or noon time and then I cannot go beyond five o'clock because you know there's a problem on the brightness of light so usually I take shots when it is daytime <coughs> so um, like for example now uh, I I'm here because I'm shooting uh, and the the object of my photo is this one uh, the background so you can see uh, in this video that you know the color is really bright and if the and if it's daytime you can really see the, the beauty of the colors of the tree it's really colorful you can see the green leaves and the flowers uh, coloring orange uh, and then of course with the birds around chirping that adds up to the motivation of capturing the tree photo because of the the ambience of the looking at the tree uh, listening to the birds chirping but again sometimes this this place is really not that conducive also especially for vlogging like this one sometimes it's quite noisy barking the dog, dogs barking and sometimes you know neighbors are singing their video okay so sometimes it somehow uh, not lead me to to wanting to take shots no, not i'm not i'm motivated to take the shots for that particular moment because it's quite noisy but now there are noises around but uh quite this is a comfortable place because you know there is wind uh, this place is kind of windy there is a uh, there is also, uh, well, limited noise now at, at this particular time. Maybe people are sleeping. But you can hear the rooster, uh, the chickens, and of course the dog barking. Uh, so we will have to, you know, allow the moment of shooting to just inspire us. No, no, I think photo shoot, especially this one, photo essay, because I'm into landscaping, but I also love trees as my object. Even before, even if I'm just using my cell phone, I really love shooting trees. And so, for this particular uh, essay, photo essay, I already have three. So the first one is this, my view. 
and then the second is God, God's gift and giant tower. So I already have three. So I'm I am done with the plan of development. So there's already clear thesis statement, plan of development, and then I'm already working on the outline. So I already know exactly what to include uh, from the start till the end. No, so it's just a matter of you know inspiring me more. The more I see this tree, the more I take shots. And it would allow me to have more options. I think as a uh, photo, as a writer, I think it is necessary for, for me to really have options. No? And then what I do is I'll be sharing these photos to the expert photographers. And then I'll be asking them what they think. So they need to critique and then they have to rank let's say five photos and then they will have to choose and uh, the most frequently chosen photo that is what I'm going to use to be included in the vlog site to be published in the vlog site so that's the plan so for this vlog this is part one so I'm showing you the process so now I'm going to shoot no? so just enjoy <laughs> uh, have a nice day Okay, so we are now here at uh, my editing hub. <laughs> so this is where I, I, after photo shoot, after shooting, I, I immediately run here to see, to, to see whether my pictures were well taken, no? uh, as to whether uh, the colors are clear, whether the resolution is, is perfect, and so it's important that you know, as a, as a. As an amateur photographer, you really have to every other shot. You have to you have to see uh, on your PC the the clearness, no, the color and the brightness of the light. So sometimes it's not clear. Clarity is really very important in photos. So I'm going to show to you how I organize my photo essay, uh, how I do it. No, in fact, the title of this blog is the process of writing a photo essay. So. Uh, I'm going to use OBS to show to you how I how I write, no, how I do, how I write uh, photo essay using the process approach. So after giving you the site where I take shots of the of uh, my photo, now we are ready to take a look at the photos that we took. Okay, so. Okay, so uh, we're using uh, OBS uh, in order to show you. So the process of photo, uh, photo essay writing. So after, after taking the pictures, uh, after having my photo shoot, so what I do is I, I need to check right away. I'm excited to see uh, the product. So in this case, so I need my laptop, my PC, in order to. So I already. I have this to import the files. So I already have the the photos and even the, the vlog uh, a while ago. So I did vlog, but these are the two pictures that I took a while ago. So I think this is already uh, this is already saved here. So let me show you where I save. So I really have a folder. So in this case, let me just save. I organize everything, my files. Always organize the files in a way that, so including the pictures. This one was already saved a while ago. So need to 
Okay. So this is already saved in Windows C. Okay. So we will just have to see the Windows C. So we can move we can move the pictures. Okay. So pictures see two pictures. Videos. Yun. So here it's already according to the dates. No? In this case this one. So from here, so from the from the cam, so in this case I use two Nikon D2 uh, D300 and uh, HDR Sony. So here the process is I'm going to transfer this to where I put my photo essay. So here I am explaining the process of blogging, I mean the process of writing the essay. So I need to also include this. These two pictures were already saved a while ago. So I'm going to transfer this file. Okay, so I'm going to transfer this file here. You really have to organize like here in this laptop. This is my wife's. Eh? So I, I have here my document. So here I have here this PW. I wouldn't want to tell you that. <laughs> photo essay here. And then my teaching and then my blog file. So organized. So here in photo essay. So this is where. So these are already the the four topics that I have in mind. But what is more uh, clear? What is now supposed to be about to finish is this one. The view. My view. So here I'm going to include everything. The process of blogging. I mean the process of writing uh, photo essays here. And here in this file. Okay. In this file, I already have the possible pictures, no? The possible pictures. So here, my view. This is up for critiquing already. So I'll not be showing you everything. So maybe this one. I can show you this one. Okay. This one is, you know, for critiquing. And then the other one. So I need to have options. Eh? And then this one, uh, the camera is Nikon D300. While this one, okay, so Sony A, uh, this one, this is the Sony, right? I think the Sony cam is better you know, because there's zoom. Eh? The problem with the D300 is that I'm using the lens that is not uh, for far distance. No? So this one is, I think, better. No, right? Uh, do you agree? So this one is, I think, uh, will pass the critique. So this has to be critiqued first by my friends. And then this one. I think the other one is better because of this. Eh? This is, I think, is a distractor. So, but this one captures the entire environment. But this one, I think I already did crop. I did cropping here. So between these two, so I'm, I'm trying to decide whether this one because the color, you know, the color of the tree, the flowers, you know, it's as if you're really, while viewing this, it's as if you're smelling the fragrance of the flowers, right? And then, yeah, the, the rest are not really that impressive. And then the rest would be the videos already. So here, this one is quite, quite good. Huh? This one. Only that this, this, uh, this grill here uh, or fence no? chicken fence would be that's why I need to ask I need to ask the experts if this would be a distractor to the beauty of the tree but on the other hand this is really the actual view in terms of my view when I'm when I'm uh, when I'm uh, exercising or when I'm when I'm photo shooting this is really the view or if I'm not photo shooting uh, exercising or reflecting this chicken wire grill, uh, I mean fence, uh, is really the view. No? While this one, this is uh, this has to be not in this in the angle where the the fence is. So I need to. This is already up the up the ceiling, right? So this is uh, some sort of a different location. Uh, I need to go towards left, no, at the left side, so that I can really capture. Uh, uh, so I'm up there at the ceiling of the the other side of the house. No? So that's why I was able to capture this one. So I think 
if I may choose, I think this one. But this one is also meaningful. Right? This one is also meaningful because this is really what is the actual view. And this could be metaphorical also, uh, talking about COVID, you know, talking about this barrier here. You know, I've seen pho photographs, uh, you know, the realists, the realists photographs. This one, I don't think this would really be uh, a distractor because this is real. This is the act my actual view versus the other one. Uh, the, the other one could be... Uh, okay, this... Okay, this one could be seen where, uh, remember I did a blog on, uh, I was writing a poem, I was at the ceiling, and so I was there sitting, that's the view, where there is no, there is no fence, there is no chicken wire fence, it's full tree, so when I look at my right, it's there, that's the tree that I'm uh, seeing. So the name of the tree, I will have to reveal that in my essay. So what type of tree is this? So I cannot reveal to you the details yet because this is an essay. So I'm just explaining to you the process, how I arrived at this essay. So now talking about the text itself. Okay, so we're going to close this. Close this. Now the text here. So I started with this one. So normally I can I, I started writing with my notes. No? In this case, I started writing with my notes. I already notepad. No? So here, it's already the plan of development. So if you transfer this to the word file in my outline, this one. So this is clear. No, uh, I already started with that. But you know, I can still rephrase this and try to make it more, more uh, creative. No? But in this case, I already have clear plan of development. So there is a thesis statement. And then there is the plan of development. So normally in an essay, in an amateur essay like this, so I'm doing, a, I'm simplifying the writing of essay so that my students wouldn't uh, really be finding it so difficult to, to write based on following a certain pattern. So in this case, you have some sort of an introductory uh, sentence and then lay down the, the, the thesis statement. And then you have the plan of development. So what will you be discussing? Right, so I'll be discussing three main topics. So what are this? So, be talking about uh, derivation of the term African tulip, the unique qualities of African tulip uh, compared to other trees. Then, of course, I will be delving deeper. I'll be examining. That's why the meaning of essay is examining it. So, by just a simple tree that I see every day, I can discuss a lot of things. I can look into a I need to do a bit of a survey, you know. So this is research work also. So I will have to properly cite sources and reference sources in this essay. So in this way, I can already teach students the process. So this video, if my students will watch this, they will have an idea already on how to, to go about it. So while they're also working on their essay, they can also document how they wrote their essay. So that's the process approach. So, of course, after the process, I'll be checking the product. But I won't be just interested on the product, but I want to see how they go about the process of writing photo essay. So, this is almost, uh, since the, the plan of development is clear, I already have the outline. Now, I can proceed to, to finishing this. So, hopefully next week, I can already publish this in my blog site. So, I can proceed to the next. So, this is a hobby. Photo shooting is a hobby, photography is a hobby, and writing also an essay is a way of helping students already, you know. The only way for you to be an effective mentor is for you to do it. Eh? What, what you preach, you do. So if you preach research, you have to do research, right? So in this case, writing an essay, examining uh, with basis. So what's the basis? I need to also read other sources relevant to this to the topic of this essay okay so basically that's it so organize your files after photo shoot organize your files always organize your files in a way that you can go go back and add then later what i will be adding here will be the sources so i can already add maybe another subfolder here uh, so that i'll be organized here i can rename this sources so the references no uh, citation and references here, sources. The rest, these are videos. So maybe I can still organize these things. Uh, this one, this is a process of blogging. 
So these are videos, right? Uh, so we need to organize that. So create another folder. It's good to really organize. Uh, this one is uh, blogging. Blogging the process. Uh, photo essay. Okay. So we will have to transfer this here. Since I... Okay. So there. So, yep. Later, I'll be adding the sources. Uh, to date, uh, there's a problem with Wi-Fi. So this one, and then... Uh, I also took... Uh, yeah, this one is also uh, part of the process. I took this some other time, so I I need to include this in my part one. So I need to include this in my part one, this video. So this one is a different time slot. I think this is 10 o'clock, not 10 o'clock or 9. Different time frame. So I, this angle is not a bit uh, appropriate. I can't really take the, the whole tree at this angle uh, okay so that's that's part of the process of blogging so we will have to uh, transfer it here and then the rest would be the photos already uh, then this one is the process of blogging also okay so now this is organized the next that then this one is cut. Okay. So now what remains would be the photos. This one is another another topic now. Whenever I take photos, I, I'm thinking of this as a perspective. So that would be the title. So photos, this is for a thumbnail. So maybe we'll just have to put all these things here as photos already. Then rename uh, this one. Uh, these are for the photos already for the... So it's really important to organize your files no? so that whenever you go back and try to, to, to think about, you know, proceeding with the, finishing the task, it's good to see organized uh, place of work. So this one, uh, maybe we can come up with uh, another folder for this. Uh, so outlining. This is part of the outlining process. Uh, plan of development is outlining. Okay, blog site. So this one, outlining. Okay. Uh, so this is open. Close that. Try again. Because the file is open in Word. Okay, so Word. Close. Try again. So here, okay, so you already have folders. So outlining. So if anything that I'll be adding here, this one. Then the final copy is this one. I need to be reminded that I need to transfer the final copy in a notepad. This has to be in notepad format in my cell phone so that it will be compatible. It wouldn't, uh, it will be compatible with my blog site. It wouldn't create any markings. No? So this is a reminder that I need to transfer my file, the final copy in my notepad, no? in my notepad, my cell phone. So that's it. So that's how I organize. So this is uh, blog one for the the process of so process of photo essay. It's important that you really have to organize. So ho hopefully next week I'll be done with this one. Okay. So here you have outlining photos, then sources later. If there's Wi-Fi already, I can update the source. I already have I think three links for the sources here, and then the process of blogging i can already organize my my edit edit the videos using uh windows editor so yeah basically that's that's how i i, I, I go about 
basically that's how I go about you know the process of writing a photo essay so almost maybe around 60 to 70 percent because I already read the sources uh, once I read the sources it's easy for me to you know to paraphrase and then to prioritize what to include and what not to include and then uh, then after that I will still have to uh, I will still have to make sure that uh, what I am writing is really accurate. Then so I'll have to run it using Turnitin software. So maybe later I can show you uh, how to go about uh, assuring the ac- accuracy of the grammar and as well as the, the sources if there are, there are no comparability or plagiarized items. So thank you for watching this video. So if you like this, uh, please uh, comment. And please also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for following me. I hope you're learning from from this one. This is an academic blog, an educational blog. I am also preparing this for my future students, especially those who are under me in communication, you know, writing. This includes photo essay. The process would include even oral communication because like what I'm doing, I'm blogging. That's also communication skills, being confident facing the camera. Even teachers are not confident uh, facing the camera. So that, that this is a skill. Blogging, facing the camera, talking as if you're just talking to people, uh, to a friend, is a skill. It has to be slowly developed, even amongst professionals. So thank you. See you later. Bye-bye.